teach or not to teach? That is the question. There are teacher shortages, burnout and resignations everywhere. It's been a really tough year and summer will be a time of contemplation for many teachers. What will teachers have to look forward to in September? More importantly, what will students be looking forward to? You see nothing bright on the horizon, no path forward. You're second guessing your decisions. Welcome to teaching. It's not for sissies. You will be tested by students, parents, colleagues, administrators, and maybe even the media. And why not? We have, under our influence, the hearts and minds of society's most precious gifts, our children. Teachers are leaving the classroom like never before. I get it. I've been there, done that. It took me to the end of my career to finally feel good about how I was teaching. I could never find what I was looking for in teacher professional development, so I created it. It took years of research and development to be able to simplify the tools and techniques of a smart way to learn and bring them to a mass audience. It came down to understanding what was important to my students and their parents and my sanity. Welcome to a learning experience like no other. Welcome to teaching. All these teachers you are seeing in the background made videos about why they quit teaching. My video is about why I stayed. To be honest, I quit too. Back in 1999, I packed a small box and walked right out of the class in the middle of a lesson. It was a spur of the moment decision, so you could say, I've been there and done that. Stress is real and it builds as much as you try to ignore it. In my long teaching career, there have been both tragedy and triumphs. I've had a number of students die tragically. The captain of my girls' basketball team died at center court as teams shook hands. I saw the ravages of disease as one of my students had to have his limbs amputated. I attended to a little girl after she was run over by a car these tragedies come out of the blue. How are you as a teacher going to help your students through these difficult times? It's not always life-threatening. The moments of triumph far outweigh the tragedies. I have pockets full of memories and stories of lessons given, of teams coached, of plays performed. You can become close to students. Then you may never see them again. And sometimes that's a good thing. So... Why did I stay in teaching? I'm driven. It's my calling, which is ironical since I was such a poor student. I like teaching, I just didn't like the attitude of some students and parents. The long hours and paperwork didn't help. But don't dwell on the negative. You can't get away from it, but you can learn to manage it. In theory, as a teacher, you'll have more time off to spend with your family, but I know many teachers have to take on a second job to make ends meet. It's time we show the public what teachers really do, but roadblocks must be removed. We need to trust our teachers more with less micromanagement. But it's the relationships teachers form with students, their parents and colleagues that make a difference. It's the things you create, the hearts and minds you reach that make learning and teaching worthwhile. That's why I stayed, and why I'm sharing with you my teaching experiences. We need great teachers now more than ever. If you're thinking of quitting, consider the ideas found here. If you are thinking of becoming a teacher, have a look inside a working classroom. Are you teaching now and want some tools that'll make a real difference in every class? Are you an administrator looking for a plan to move your staff forward? Parents, could benefit from my stories as well. They'll learn that relationship building, self-discovery, information processing techniques, and fun and games are the key to successful learning. This site is a work in progress, evolving as new relationships are made. This is an invitation to grow with us, to once again feel the joy of teaching, the greatest profession in the world. A smart way to learn has three pillars. They are the way game, digital lesson planning, and project-based learning. All three are student-focused. This is what this project 
This journey is all about encouraging the teaching of independent lifelong learning processes designed to take responsibility off of a teacher's plate and share them with students and parents. There's a bit of martyrdom when it comes to teaching. Teachers tend to take on all the responsibility for everything and more, but no more. Moving forward, we are going to have to rely on each other to help bring many voices to the classroom. One of those voices will be a teacher's parent volunteer. Our webinars are one of a kind because we recognize the need for teamwork. Your parent volunteer will have specific tasks for the production of the way game materials and to help monitor play throughout the year. Parent volunteers are asked to accompany the homeroom teacher for a day of learning via webinar. So I invite you to use this site not only to survive teaching, but to thrive in teaching. Teaching is a marathon, not a sprint. Find ways to make every day count. Your students are depending on you.